Good morning to all. Today we are moving on to the exercise part of our chapter 12, our green world. Now you can take page number 143 in your textbook and let's start with the first exercise that is tick the correct options. So we have five questions with options. I'll read out the questions and you can mark the answers. So let's start with the first one. Which of these is not a natural resource? So you all know what is a natural resource. So which of these is not a natural resource? Wood, plastic, wheat, milk. The second one. Which of these natural resources is not being renewed? The third one. Which of these animals is found only in Gir forest of Gujarat. The fourth one, which of these animals were once found in many parts of India? The fifth one, who owns forest in India? Now, let's see the answers. So, see the first one. Which of these is not a natural resource? See the options. Wood, plastic, wheat, milk. So, which one? What is the right answer? The right answer is plastic. The second one. Which of these natural resources is not being renewed? So, see the options. Iron, water, plants, animals. So, what is the answer? Which of these natural resources is not being renewed? That is iron. Because they are available in limited amount. See the third one. Which of these animals is found only in the Gir forest of Gujarat? See the options. Tigers, bears, cheetahs, lions. So, what is the answer? The answer is lions. Fourth one, which of these animals were once found in many parts of India? See the options, zebras, penguins, cheetahs, kola bears. So what is the answer? The third one, that is cheetahs. See the fifth one, who owns forest in India? People, government, police, private agencies. So what is the answer? It is government. It is the government who owns and protects forest. So hope the answers are clear to you. Now let's move on to the second one. So that is true or false. So you have to tick the true statements and you can cross the false ones. So see the first one. Air, water and soil are non-renewable natural resources. So what is the answer? The answer is false. They are renewable resources. The second one, forests provide medicines. So what is the answer? Yes, the answer is true. It provides medicines. The third one, forests are home to only animals. So what is the answer? The answer is false. Fourth one, Human actions are responsible for the decrease in forest areas. So what is the answer? The answer is true. So people started cutting down trees for different purposes. So that is, so human actions are responsible for decrease in forest area. Fifth one, a marine sanctuary protects rare marine animals. So what is the answer? The answer is true. The marine sanctuary protects the rare marine animals and plants. Sixth one, water and plants are renewable resources. So what is the answer? The answer is true. Renewable resources are resources that can be used repeatedly. Then, moving on to the third exercise, answer the following questions in one sentence. So here we have four questions. Let's discuss the answers. Then, you can write it down in your notebook. So, see the first question. Define natural resources. Let's see the answer. 
all kinds of natural things you all know what are natural things things are things which are in the nature things which are the gift of nature we call it as natural things all kinds of natural things which are useful to us we call it as natural resources second one what is a renewable natural resource resources such as plants animals forest water and air that are renewed continuously by rapid natural process are called renewable resources the resources that can be used repeatedly and the resources that can be converted by natural process that we call it as renewable resources the third one name any two non renewable natural resources see the answer two non renewable natural resources are crude oil and metals so i hope you all know what are non renewable resources the resources which are available in limited amount moving on to the fourth one what are national parks name any two national parks of india see the answer forests in india are owned and protected by the government and are known as national parks so a national park is a park that is used for conservation purposes which is owned and protected by the government so one more question is there name any two national parks of india corbett national park in uttarakhand and ranthambore national park in rajasthan so these are two examples for national parks of india moving to the next one answer the following questions in two or three sentences see the first one list three steps to be taken to prevent air pollution see the answer the first one walk or cycle to nearby distances by which we can reduce air pollution one step towards reducing air pollution the second one request your elders to service cars and scooters regularly to reduce emission of smog so that is the second step towards reducing air pollution see the next one use public transport as much as possible to reduce the number of vehicles on the road by which we can reduce air pollution so these are the three different steps by which we can reduce air pollution moving to the second one what are the ways to conserve water see the answer avoid wasting water close all taps when not in use and repair leaky taps so the first thing is that you should not waste water and you should close the taps which are not in use and you have to repair the taps which are leaking the next one small check dams should be constructed to store rain water so small dams can be constructed in order to store water rain water should be stored during the monsoons moving to the third one list two uses of soil see the answer soil is used to make pots bricks and mud houses soil is home to many kinds of small living things called microorganisms and small animals such as earthworms termites and ants so soil is useful to us in many ways soil is a habitat for many animals it is a habitat for many small animals such as earthworms termites and ants even it is a habitat for small living things which are called as the microorganisms like bacteria then it is useful to as in many ways it is used for making pots it is used for building houses etc moving to the fourth one write any three uses of forest see the answer forest provide habitat for many kinds of plants and animals so forest is a habitat for many plants and animals there are many we can 
we can see many kinds of plants and animals in the forest. Forests provide clean air. So forest, the trees in the forest provides us with clean air. And we all need clean air to breathe. The next one, the leaves, roots and bark of many forest plants are used to make medicines. Even it is useful for making medicines. Moving to the fifth one, why should forest be protected? Give two reasons. Let's see the answer. We get oxygen from plants. Plants provide clean air. Forest help in rainfall. Hence, forest should be protected. Moving to the next one, higher order thinking skills. Read the given passage and do as directed. A natural resource can be renewable but still exist in limited amount. So we should use these renewable resources very carefully. Although water is a renewable, although water is renewable, our rivers, lakes, ponds and wells have limited amounts of water. If we do not use water carefully, water can become scarce at least before rain renews it. So, below that you can see, draw a happy face if the statement given below is true and an angry face if the statement is false. See the first one. A renewable natural resource can exist in limited amount. So based on the passage, you have to write the answer. So what is the answer? It is true. The renewable resource can exist in limited amount. So we should use them very carefully. Second one. A renewable resource can never become scarce. So what is the answer? It is false. It can become scarce. The third one, a renewable natural resource can become scarce. So the answer is true. It can become scarce. The fourth one, water occurs in unlimited amount because it is renewed through rain. So the answer is false. Then the fifth one, we must use even renewable natural resources carefully. So the answer is true. So we need to use all renewable resources very carefully. Moving to the next one, value-based question. While returning from school, Rhea threw the water left in her water bottle on the road. So we have two questions. Is Rhea's action right or wrong? Why? So what is the answer? It is wrong. She is wasting water. So what she is doing? She is wasting water. And what she has done is wrong. The second one, what could Rhea have done instead? She could have poured it in a plant pot. So she could have, she could, she could have poured this water in a plant pot. Moving to the next one. Activity zone. Prepare a colorful poster to highlight harmful effects of pollution. Coin a slogan to prevent pollution. So, we all have learnt about the different pollution, air pollution, water pollution, etc. So, what you have to do here is, you can prepare a poster and you can highlight the effects, that is the harmful effects of this pollution. Then, you can write a slogan to prevent pollution. Next, you have a project zone. Here are some animals found in India. So here you can see the picture of different animals. Find out more about each animal. So you have to find more about these animals. Like where it is found. You can see where these animals are found. Then the food it eats. What do these animals eat? Then if it is endangered. Find whether these animals are endangered or not. So you know what is the meaning of endangered? That means a species that is facing a high risk of extinction. That we call it as endangered animals. So both of this, that is the activity zone and project zone, you can do as an activity. And once you are done, you can submit to Microsoft Teams. So I hope the exercises are clear to you. 
let's meet in the next class till then thank you